What's up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com. Dustin's Fish Tank's bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. So I want to bring you guys a little bit of cichlid action, a little African cichlid action. Uh, straight up, I don't intend on setting up an African cichlid tank anytime soon. Uh, I have thought about it. Uh, I certainly have the Anubius to do it. And uh, I think I could like tie it up and make it all right. I just have other fish that I like more. Uh, I like the peacefulness of different species. And uh, I like keeping shrimp and snails and all that good stuff. But that doesn't mean I don't have love for African cichlids. And I think they serve a, a completely vital role in the hobby too. I mean, they're hardy. They have vibrant colors. Uh, they're great for beginners. Uh, yeah, and they're just, they're just good looking fish. So uh, we partnered with our friends at Rod's Foods. We have a pretty successful new freshwater frozen blend out. Uh, over Christmas break and uh, had a little cichlid contest, uh, 75 gallon to 100 gallon uh, cichlid, African cichlid contest. So I want to show you at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the winners of that. But I also just want to display some of these cichlid tanks because uh, they are pretty cool and I don't give a lot of love to cichlids like I should. Also, throughout this video, you can check out links to other uh, fish rooms, cichlid contests, um, ACA events or whatever and just all kinds of uh, cichlid. Brian's got some great cichlid tanks. So here's a little cichlid action for you guys. Enjoy. Alright, so these are in no particular order. The number that's on there just kind of represents uh, ones that people could select, you know, pick number two or whatever to win. This didn't actually come in second place, but it's a nice uh, cichlid action. 75 from Carl Roberts. Uh, I like the, uh, I don't even know what half these are. I like this like this red, I think it's a peacock in there. I uh, love the use of uh, plants that seem to be staying down. Nubius, notice the rhizome is above the uh, gravel, so that works just fine. So nice looking tank, Carl Roberts. Moving on, we got Daryl Stacy uh, rocking some really nice cichlids as well. I think those are some haps in there. My limited knowledge of cichlids, I apologize. I need Brian around. But look at the bright blue colors on these. I mean, these are fantastically colored fish here. That's a peacock. I know that for a fact. So. Uh, great stuff, Daryl Stacy. Limited rock work, uh, a little 75 gallon. Not too bad there. I like this one too. Love this. Logan Sperlin rocking it here with the 90 gallon. I love it. There's just a massive pleco in the middle of this tank right here. I uh, love the yellow Labetachromis in there. I used to keep those back in the day. Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of oxygen coming in there. It looks like they have a lot of hiding spots. I love that. Uh, I don't know if it's lace rock or whatever it is, but that stuff's pretty cool. So yeah, yeah, loving the cichlids there. It looks like there's some sort of a calvus in the front there. I could be wrong on that. You cichlid people, help me out here. All right, we got another a 125 right here. Now, I absolutely love the uh, rock work in the background here. Not sure the details on this tank, but I do love the way that this uh, has this built-in background here. I know cichlids love a lot of places to hide. Pretty, uh, pretty hot little tank there. Nice little 125 action. This is my man, Charles Malari. Uh, look, I, I got love for this guy. He, he couldn't place. Uh, it's 180 gallons, so it's not allowed to participate because I, I had to put parameters on it. 75 to 100 gallon. But uh, got to give some love to my man, Charles. Dude drove me all over to Orange County. Uh, and then we went out to some good Korean barbecue place we had to wait forever to get into. But it was fantastic after a ravenous uh, Reef of Palooza trade show day. Came in, showed up, competed and everything. So, got a nice looking 180 gallon cichlid tank too. I love the big frontosa in here. Um, yeah, frontosas are one of my favorites here. So, uh, I think that's a Venustus. I could be wrong over there on the left. So yeah, great looking 180. Nice spread. Nice, uh, I believe that's a jungle val around there. So, uh, Charles, looking forward to see you again next time I'm on the OC. And this is Eric Mares. He's got, uh, it's 150 gallon with uh, tons of Malawis. He's got one Malawi eye biter, an albino uh, bircher, 12 inch black and gold spotted pleco, which I don't see in there. Random angelfish in there, a uh, couple of caves. Nice, uh, nice tank. Little Jenga looking rock over there. Good stuff. And then we've got John Nowak. He's got, uh, I like this tank. I like how bright this is. I like the light colored fish. Uh, I, I've got love for uh, yellow Labetachromis as well. He says it's a 100 gallon tank, 50 mixed mumbas, a few peacocks here and there, Syndodonist, uh, 30 Nerite snails, cichlids leave alone surprisingly, bunch of Anubius plants in there. He's got Aquatop filters, uh, UV sterilizer, blah, blah, blah. It's a good looking tank, John. Good work, man. Love the big uh, driftwood in there as well. 
And then we've got Matt Baker, 75 gallon, mostly peacock, some Lake Victoria, send it on as catfish, and a common pleco as well. Liking that one. And we got uh, Brian's. I like the I like the way this is built into the wall or whatever, and I do like the red rocks there. Nice little 55 gallon tank. And time to get on to our winners, folks. This is uh, the third place winner, Scott Noweleski. Uh, won hundred dollars worth of. Uh, he took a 50-50 mix of Rod's Foods uh, large mouth blend and small mouth blend as his prize. 100 gallon uh, sickle tank. Love that he's got uh, the plants rolling in there, the pleco in the front. Uh, this was voted on Facebook. This uh, took third place and hundred dollars worth of Rod's food. So good stuff, uh, Scott Noeleski, and uh, thanks for your kind words in the comments as well. Good looking tank, brother. And in second place, we have Becca Young. Becca Young rocking the 75 gallon three year old tank with various Africans, yo yo loach, clown loach, uh, bristle, and common plecos. Everyone is breeding and happy to sell some frequently due to high breeding rates. Africans are awesome, Becca. Well, congrats to you. You won $200 worth of stuff uh, from Rod's Foods out there in uh, Texas. So, shout outs to you. And the winner of this contest was Mark Arms. Uh, taking it with the Lava Rock and the Cichlids. Loving the Clown Loaches in there. I still miss mine of these days. 75 gallon Cichlid tank. Real simple design, too. Uh, you know, turned out pretty well. I like that he's got the little uh, red tailed shark in there, the loaches. And then, of course, the mixed African cichlid. So, shout out to Mark Arms, winning $300 worth of uh, free fish food from Rod's Foods. And uh, thanks, everybody, for participating in this. Shout outs to all the winners and the participants in the African cichlid contest. That was fun. I like seeing all those different types of fish. And shout outs to all the African cichlid fish tag people. Do me a favor. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. And if you love African cichlids or you've got like specific types and maybe you could say like at this fish at this minute mark or whatever, uh, drop some knowledge on some cichlid action, what you love about them. I know my boy Brian keeps a ton of them. Click the links around here to check out some of the videos uh, of cichlid stuff. I've got some contests, got some AGA stuff and some of Brian's tanks as well. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Have a fabulous freaking week. Stay tuned for a little action in the 220. Finally getting my own bad boy cleaned up. Everybody have an awesome one. Tank on. Later.